Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marks again. And yes, this is Sunday night. Can't go to bed without sharing some information with you or just talking with you or giving you something to look at me and listen to me just for a moment. I was just wondering, ladies and gentlemen, have you figured out yet what I've been trying to do? Those of you who've been listening to uh, Eddie Marcus and this mission that I'm on, Basic Human Rights for All People, or whether you listened to me when I was on a program called Life of Victory Eternal called Love Ministry, or whether you listened to me on another program that uh, was called The Moment of Truth, or maybe you listened to me when I was on another program called Paradise on Earth Unlimited, or maybe you're listening to me now when I speak of Basic Human Rights for All People. And each of those different titles that I worked under, ladies and gentlemen, it was about the same thing. It was about glorifying the invisible God that you can't see, can't touch, can't feel, but would allow to live in you, would be able to give you your desires of your heart. And that's what I've been trying to tell you, to get that message to you somehow, any way I can. And I must say, ladies and gentlemen, I must say the message is so unique. It's a message about, if you will, going to a place called Itabena, Mississippi, or Greenwood, Mississippi, or Inverness, or It's Mississippi, or Pascagoula, Mississippi, or Birmingham, Alabama, or Tuscaloosa, or Teaneck, New Jersey, or any city in any state and find some way to find those young people and middle-aged people who are unemployed. Get them in some kind of training facility. First of all, find out what their interests are, what kind of careers they're interested in. Get them involved in going back throughout that community and building up the city again. Learning what skills are required. I mean, giving them that education that they might need to go and do the infrastructure in Itabena. Go and do the infrastructure in Pascagoula. Go and do the houses. Rebuild those houses that's uh, rebuildable. Or what? tear down those that are no good. And do the landscaping and make everything. Get these people busy in these cities and towns. People walking around, nothing to do. Everything to do but no connection with the system that would permit them to engage themselves. And so they're walking around doing nothing, the city falling apart, government blaming somebody else and somebody else blaming government and nothing gets done. But see, it is love and compassion. See right now, if you say, why isn't things getting done? Why aren't those streets, wherever they are, the pavement, why aren't they being renovated? Why aren't the potholes being fixed? Why aren't the cities being lifted up? If you ask anybody in any city that needs it, the first thing they would tell you, lack of funds. Lack of funds. <laughs> you ask people, say, well, hey, how come we don't come up with cancer for, a cure for cancer yet? They will say, lack of funds. Lack of funds. If you say why anything is not happening, they will say, a lack of money. <laughs> a lack of money. In a city where all the work needs to be done, people walk around not doing anything, and you say, why is not Why is that happening? Why isn't the other action taking to fix things up? They'll say, a lack of money. A lack of money. A lack of money. Well, it seems like all of these problems that we have in the society, it appears starting from A to Z, somehow M-O-N-E-Y got something to do with it. Hmm. So it seems to me that M-O-N-E-Y should be taken out of it. Now, I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that the reason that I come to you and I talk to you about these kinds of things is because that I know it can be done. I know that we don't need any money to do anything. Truly, the best, we don't need money to do anything. But we are familiar with the system 
that he uses money. And there might be some geniuses amongst you who might be able to, since the opportunity is made available to you, to come up with a plan that would utilize and exercise money that would accommodate and address to the same degree that which I have just got to discuss it through using money. Now, if you could do that, I'm sure we would all be satisfied. But in light of your inability to do that, I know for a fact it can be done just by taking money out of the way. Now, I know it will destroy, it will destroy many of you who have put your faith in money, who have billions of dollars and plan to just pass it on down regardless of the rest of the world, yours is taken care of. So if you were set on an island by yourself with your money, it wouldn't mean a hill of beans. It would not mean one thing. You sitting on, uh, isolated on an island with all of your billions, it not, wouldn't mean a thing. It wouldn't mean a thing. But over here, it means something. It means that you can have what you want at the expense of people who are at their suffering. And you can, you can live with that. You can live with that. You can live with them suffering. But you think it would be low down and dirty if they put you on an isolated place and let you live with yourself and they live with that. You would think that they would be crazy. How can they be so heartless? But you can't see the same thing for you. And it is really the same thing, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever, he, if that would be heartless for him, it would be heartless to isolate him. Either way, it's heartless. The only thing you can do is make up your mind to do the right thing. And do not allow anything to force you to do any other than the right thing. So that's basically what I wanted to kind of bring out tonight. I wanted to just say that in this life, we're going to have all kinds of things. In fact, everything that's truly in our position. But we have to be <laughs> real and carry on. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I came up here to really talk to you about something and every time I start talking about it, it looked like I started saying something about it I'm going to come back to it and it just left my mind. Is that dementia? Could be. But I think the thing that's really getting me is that as I'm saying these things, I'm looking back in my mind and I'm saying, why am I saying these things? I'm just repeating myself over and over again. Like, by me saying this thing continuously and putting a lot of videos really is not going to prompt you to listen to me. Well, I'm thinking maybe if I got, if, if I just flew at the market, you might run across me. And somewhere down the line, it might work. I keep thinking if I left off with a couple of thousand, you might not ever get a chance to run across that. So I keep on trying. I keep on trying. I keep on trying, even though sometimes I can't even justify it. I still find myself keep on trying. And I keep on trying, ladies and gentlemen, because I think that that's the greatest thing that human beings can do. When, we, when I look at our society, and when I look at the whole entire world, I know what people want. Everybody wants to be thrilled, happy. I know that. When I look up there and see who is thrilled and happy, and I see a lot of beauty and flash, flair and beauty and happy. And I see the population, a lot of people, a lot of people. But when I look at the rest of the population, where it's not that flash, flair, everybody's having a wonderful time. And it's like an ocean as far as I can see and can't see is this population. And to come out here committed to not bring 
those down who will put their faith in money. <laughs> Except we will not allow their faith in money to deny us our faith in love and righteousness. No, 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 no. We're going to stand for that. At least this is what my prayer is. This is what my hope is. You know, so when I see these people out there in these little small towns and these cities starts looking beautiful. When I start seeing these places where the, the weather is changing and these cars being in, ooh, all, all these accidents, when I start seeing sensors and all these kind of extra technological advances being expressed on these highways and things and the weather can come, but it doesn't do anything because mankind has been able to master the situation of that and can travel straight on doing wherever they got to go, not even worried about ice on the road because ice ain't got no business on the street. It used to, but we are men and humankind in love with our one another, our humankind, our brothers and our faith. We mastered that. So we don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. We don't have to worry about planes falling out the sky because we give it the best that we got. Nobody trying to take advantage of another except the opportunity to give the best we have for the benefit of all we got. So ladies and gentlemen, that's us. what I'm thinking about. You know, same thing. Get everybody involved in life. Get everybody participating in life. If you need education, don't let anything stop you. If you need housing, nothing stop you. If you need whatever you need, nothing stop you. You let it be known, and it is the responsibility of society to make sure no one is lacking anything that's made at the hands of man, and we have abundance at it because it's ours, ours. So when you come to us, you're not begging. You're coming to the reservoir of goods and services within the system that we live. That's where we go, that's the storehouse. Now, where is that storehouse at? It's the same places that you go to every day. You go to the supermarket, you go to the department stores, you go through all of these different things, you go to the contractors, you go to housing places, you will still go to those same places. Nothing changed except it didn't cost you anything. <laughs> it doesn't cost you anything, it's all free. Everything in the country is free to everybody in the country. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. That's God. That's God in operation. You know, it's the God that people go to church and talk about. But this is the God real talk put in action. That's what it is. Do I need, can I get a partner? Can I get a team effort? <laughs> Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, goodbye.